What's up everybody? It's Hey John. I jabber opportunities nonstop. And in today's video, I will be covering, guess what? Coinbase CEO response to Jackson Palmer's attack on the cryptocurrency market. I will be covering Kathy Wood's most recent cryptocurrency purchase. And of course, I will be covering the Dogecoin charts. So make sure you watch this whole video in its whole entirety to catch the news and see what is going on. CEO Brian Armstrong took to Twitter to respond to Dogecoin co-founder Jackson Palmer's attack on the crypto industry. According to Armstrong, for those that aren't satisfied with the unintended consequences of government solutions, crypto is a much needed breath of fresh air. The Coinbase CEO argued that the cryptocurrency provides more economic freedom to the average investor across the globe, allowing for an easy point of entry despite the restrictions imposed by existing law. Investor laws are a good example, said Armstrong. They were created with the best of intentions to protect regular people from scams, a noble idea. But what has been the actual result? They've often made it illegal to get rich via investment unless you're already rich. This is part of why Bitcoin has made so many people wealthy. It was not a security, so regular people could invest early on, he added. Armstrong went on to add that crypto is not going to solve wealth inequality because it's not trying to create the same outcome for everyone, but it does create wealth mobility and more equality of opportunity for everyone. It levels the playing field, at least to some degree. For those that still prefer more control in their financial life, he points to the fiat system, which already exists. Crypto is simply providing an alternative for people who want more freedom. Everyone can make their own choice, and that is probably a good thing, he says. So another interesting article today, Kathy Atwood of ARK Invest holds stakes of Square in her three ETFs. Combined, they hold more than 7.2 million shares of the payment company. Well, that company is called Square, worth more than $1.7 billion. The addition of Square stock to the ARK portfolio came hot on the heels of Dorsey's announcement on Thursday in which he revealed plans for a new business focused on building a platform that would facilitate Bitcoin-based non-custodial, permissionless, and decentralized financial services. Earlier this month, Dorsey also confirmed that the payment company is going to be building a Bitcoin hardware wallet and, of course, Square holds 8,207 Bitcoins worth roughly $260 million as of this recording. Likewise, Coinbase revealed in February that it is holding 4,482 Bitcoins worth $141 million as of this recording. So now we are seeing in the stock market, larger companies like Square, right? Where they are starting to delve and dive into the crypto space, Bitcoin specifically. So this bodes well for the future of Bitcoin. And as you know, Dogecoin follows Bitcoin. So what is good for Bitcoin is good for Dogecoin. Let's go ahead and cover the Dogecoin charts. Okay, July 19, 2021. The current low for the day is at about 16.88. The high is 18.49. And currently we're trading at a price of 17.47. So we're seeing it trend back down, right? On Saturday, July 17th, we saw a nice bounce for Dogecoin. It went to the moon right was was elon musk tweet but as you know when elon musk tweet it pops and then it drops and now we're seeing the drop so if you look out if you zoom out a little bit you can see the agora reaction ribbon is still flatlining which is actually a good thing to see a flatline to be honest here because this means that now we can see whether or not the bulls or bears can take control this means the bears yes long term they're starting to take control but however though until we see this agora reaction ribbon trend down then the bulls still have a chance to take it back so we will have to wait for the days to come to see what happens here right you can see here on the agora oscillator it is starting to flatline as well so this could be an indicator of a possible reversal but if you zoom out in long term some would say this could be a bear flag and let me give you an example of what that means here so check it out here okay so let's be devil's advocate here all right boom look at this long downward trend here right 
and this is going to be your bear flag from here to here so this could be your potential bear flag there so what that means is that if we can break down below 1554 then that means this bear flag will be confirmed and well that means we're going to see some more downside however when i say this to you guys it's not to create fight or give you fear it is so you know what is going to happen or what could potentially happen and i always say it's very important to know what's going down the four hour chart to see on a more microscopic view of what's going on so in a four hour time frame you can see now we're trading below the middle of the downward channel so i've been saying it for a while here there's not financial advice or anything but i'm saying that if we're trading in a downward channel if you were to buy well in my case here if i were to buy i would buy below the middle of the downward channel because you want to buy when it's cheap and you want to sell when it's high very basic principle here but this channel here just gives you an example of what the potential trading range is and currently we've been following this trading range pretty i would say solidly so it's it's been holding but as you know with these ridges here they're only valid until they are valid so it's these all temporary nature they don't last forever on a four hour time frame with the agora oscillator here we can see that we were overbought and now we are coming back down. However, though, on a daily, we're seeing a different indicator here, right? The Ogora oscillator is actually looking oversold and it wants to start trending back up. But a four hour is telling a different story. So that's very interesting. When you see conflicting indicators, that's usually a sign to pause and wait to see what's going on because as you know the reason why we are overbought currently is is because of an elon musk tweet and as you know these tweets are very temporary in nature so i think in my opinion here if i were trading i would wait to see where it does settles before i think of buying anything the one hour time frame is showing a different story now we are still continuing to trend down every time you see a quick bounce you see another sell off almost immediately a few hours later so if you look at a one hour time frame the bears are clearly in control Did I 17th we saw elon musk tweet we went through the gora reaction ribbon but it was very temporary in nature because as you know elon musk tweets are very temporary they move markets but not for very long because everybody knows the pattern nowadays elon musk tweets about dogecoin you buy it and you sell it real quick and you walk away with profits and then you have some new dogecoin bag holders no i am not trying to be negative here it just is what it is and that's just the way the market works unfortunately so now you can see us trending down at quite a strong velocity as well this bounce here looks pretty weak as well so it looks like we are trading in a lull around in this bluish box here from about 8 16 8 9 to about 17 4 9 so around there maybe about a 0.8 cent price discrepancy right there that's usually the trading range in terms of the low so in my opinion with the weight and watch this area here to see if it breaks down if it does does, then you know what well we are unfortunately gonna have some more downside it's hey john i thank you for watching my video today and i will catch you all on the next one